Hello everyone, welcome to yet another segment of Life Prop. I'm Fred. Yes, and Manu, Manu went uh, to a certain place to preach. So today we're going to interview him. Yes, he's going to tell us uh, his experience. It was his first time preaching. Yes, and maybe he's going to tell us how it went and what was the experience. Yeah, so let's invite Manu uh, so that he tells us more about the experience. Yeah, so we're going to invite him with a style. Yeah, so one, two, three. Yes, welcome Manu. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, so tell people what you've been doing. Yeah, maybe tell them. We know it, it has been your first time preaching. Yeah. So maybe talk to us, tell us your experience. Wow, yeah. first time preaching. First time preaching. Yes, first of all, mm -hmm. okay, definitely I was nervous. Because I've never preached. Mm -hmm. I do spoken word. Yeah. But now you know spoken word there is a way you do spoken word, not yeah. the same way uh, the way a you preach you preach. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I was just at work and I was called and told, uh, will you be available on Sunday? And I said, ah, yeah, yeah, I can avail myself. Mm -hmm. I want to send you somewhere to preach. And so I was like, eh, Tapiana, which reason will I give so that I cannot go? But then I decided, I, I just felt in me, uh, uh, my the vision, uh -huh. my vision, uh -huh. my vision is to preach to the youth, to reach out to the youth. Uh -huh. And so this preaching is going to be now a platform that I'm going to use to reach my vision. Uh -huh. So, Wow, we went to that school. It's called Gorica Secondary. Gorica yes, Secondary. so I am so happy for the administration and the teacher who invited me there at Gorica Secondary. Yeah. Yes, it was a nice experience. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we know, uh, as we know, yes. preachers always have the, a certain topic, a certain lesson that they want to go and share. Mm -hmm. So were you prepared, or did you did you have uh, the message that you want to to preach to the people, or it just came? Yeah, uh, so when they called me, they also gave me a topic on which I was to speak. Mm -hmm. And so I was supposed to speak on living a godly life. Mm -hmm. And so at that time, I was still, uh, myself, I was learning about grace and uh, about the grace of God. Mm -hmm. And so I, I somehow twisted what I had been learning. Mm -hmm. And it came and it spoke to the students about living a godly life. Uh -huh. So it was about living a godly life. People living a to, godly life. Yes, people yeah. to be like Samuel, Kina Daniel, yeah. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They lived a godly life. Yeah. So that's what. Uh, so you went to teach people on how to live a godly life. Yes. Yeah. And it was a nice experience to speak to students. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, okay, definitely I began with a spoken word. You know, now being my yes, first time obviously. preaching. Uh, being my first time preaching. Mm -hmm. uh, I went in front there and everybody was looking at me like this and I was like, eh, as I'm done, I'm done. They were wondering. <laughs> yeah, so after they spoken out, at least now we can connect to the students. So that's another point why we emphasize on art. Yeah. So speakers, preachers who are outside there. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes before you speak, you can call in a dancer, yeah. a rapper. Mostly to, to the youth. Yes, to the youth. Yeah. They love art. So you can call someone who has a certain talent mm -hmm. to come and once they minister with their talent, now it will be easier. Easier, so they so can they, relate easily. They can relate easily. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I know you had a good experience. Yes. Yeah, it's not easy preaching. Yeah. And we know not all the youths yes. are able to preach the way you did. Yes. Uh, maybe some are nervous, some are scared, maybe. Okay, actually me, uh, I'll confess I can't. Yeah. Uh, okay, not that I can't. Yeah. I, Okay, it will be hard for me to preach to preach. the youth, mm -hmm. yeah. But I also do rap. Uh -huh. I do rap. I rap mm -hmm. to people. So I've faced an audience, and yeah. I know it's somehow nervous. Nervous. You are nervous yeah. at some point. Yeah. Yeah. So, what made you walk through mm -hmm. the whole process? Walk through the whole process. Yeah. Like, like what? What motivated you to just continue mm -hmm. preaching and talking to the youth? Yes. What motivated me is my vision, mm -hmm. which is I said, my vision is to reach out to the youths. Yeah. And so high schoolers definitely these are youths. I wanted to show the high schoolers that uh, even as youths we can speak. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, high schoolers they love some of the high schoolers they love youths talking to them. Mm -hmm. It's for it's uh, it's more interactive. More interactive, for yeah. The youths to speak to the youths. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how, that's what motivated me and encouraged me to keep. Yeah. Okay, so 
yeah that's good yeah. actually you've encouraged people yeah. i hope uh, as you preached you encourage the youth mm-hmm. from which school gorika secondary, gorika secondary school yes. where is it uh, it's at gorika at gorika we are going to don't worry mm-hmm. yeah Yes, in Nakuru County. Nyandarua County. Nyandarua County. Nyandarua County. Not okay. Nakuru. Yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, and definitely even mm-hmm. when we were there, of course there are challenges that one faces. Mm-hmm. So when we went for this mission, yeah. I went with a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. His name is Darwin yeah. or Didi. And so we went to Didi and you know when you are going to high school, now like, this is also uh, a word, not a warning, uh, like encouraging people who are uh, coming into high school ministry. Mm-hmm. We went to this high school yeah. in Personally, I was I was well dressed. Mm-hmm. Davin was also well dressed, yeah. but in a in a more youthful way. Youthful like he way. came in shorts, uh-huh. a t-shirt, a bomber jacket, yeah. a a kofia, which a cape, like a blanket, like this one. <laughs> yeah, some sneakers. Yeah. So that's how he came dressed. Mm-hmm. We went, but now mm-hmm. the CEO patron did not allow him to go into the CEO, into the church mm-hmm. because of his dressing because that is uh, that was not. Uh, applicable like mm-hmm. for the students he did not want the students to see that example i'm not saying that it is wrong to dress yeah, in that yeah. way uh-huh. but now if you are going to speak to a certain place yeah the way you present yourself it's very important yeah it matters yes it matters a lot a lot yes so there was there were challenges yes there were challenges that was one of the challenges that was one of the challenges yeah you are out there mm-hmm. you are thinking of maybe doing high school ministry yeah or maybe you you are all you are doing mm-hmm. high school ministry yes i hope you have learned one or two things mm. the challenges uh, that are there yeah yeah so maybe what you would like to tell people out there tell them what the feedback you got from the youth that you yeah. preached to mm-hmm. yes maybe explain to the people the one of the feedback was about talent. Talent. Youths, uh, youths outside there, they have talent. Mm-hmm. Yes, and, and so after the preaching, uh, they came to me and they were asking me, yeah, I'm a dancer, what can I do? I do this and this. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are photographers, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So youths love talent and they love someone who who is close to them, who can answer their questions. Yeah. So don't go there like, mm, I don't want to answer questions. Mm-hmm. That place. Don't go Be that open. Place. Be open with them. Mm-hmm. And give them your own experience the reason they have called you there is so that uh, you can share with them the experience the way that you have gone uh, through that high school life or that youthful life yeah yes and youths in high school there is a lot of talent a lot After of talent his life from yeah uh, soon we are going to do a clip about this boy from that school mm-hmm. this boy made a drone a drone like a drone from he made with some timber like this mm-hmm. and he made something like a drone yeah so that was manu yeah. that was his time mm-hmm. yeah so thank you for sharing with us thank you yes. for sharing your experience yes. of how you how you preached for the first time yeah yeah and i know you've been encouraged and you've encouraged other other youths out there yes yeah so maybe a parting shot yes my parting shot uh, my parting shot is um if you're preparing for anything, not mm-hmm. necessarily a sermon, maybe you're preparing even to go and uh, rap somewhere, mm-hmm. anything, anything to do with ministry. Yeah. Yes. Just pray about it and don't be afraid. Whatever situation, whatever challenge, maybe it's a job opportunity of being called to and you're afraid. Don't be afraid. Just face it. Mm-hmm. That is a job that God is open. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I feel like you 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 are going to start preaching again <laughs> like you did. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that was encouraging. Yeah. I, I I've learned a lot. Yeah. And hope you out there have yes. learned also. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that was our time. Yes. Thank uh, you. Thank you for joining us at Like Prop. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down subscribe below. Down there. Make sure you comment on this video. Yes. Yes. Tell Manu what you think about the video. Yeah. And we'll get back to you. Yes, we'll get back to you. Yeah. If you have any question, just post, post it down there mm-hmm. and you're going to ask again. So from my side, have a nice time. See you in the next video. I'll see you. See you in the next video. Have a nice time. Nice time. Bye.